everybody so welcome back to my channel once again i wanted to um talk to you guys who are stuck on a particular way or you're trying to do your intermittent fasting and you're not seeing any results even though you're doing your fasting i know you guys like to see my before and after so oh yeah let's go <laughs> so this is my uh currently what i look like i wore a vest <laughs> i know it's just a long vest okay I thought something different you know from the usual gym outfit that i wear even though i don't go to the gym <laughs> it helps snatch me in a little bit but you know this one as, as you can see is very unforgiving you can still see a few lumps and bumps which is all good now let's get right into this video the thing with intermittent fasting let me go through it quickly intermittent fasting basically you start off like this all right um if i'm somebody who have breakfast lunch dinner and like before i'll probably snack between my meal and even eat later on in the evening all right the thing with intermittent fasting is that we no longer eat between our meals okay that's how it's best to start from ground and work your way up okay so you're no longer eating between your meals you have your breakfast you have no uh snack between you have your lunch no snack between you have your dinner and no snacks after all right and uh, you get to intermittent fasting when either you start skipping your breakfast or you start skipping your dinner whichever one me i was skipping breakfast so i have a specific time that i eat the time that i do the most because I've done all the other times, all right? By the time that I do the most, is from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. So this is how it works. When I got to the stage where I properly start my intermittent fasting, whereby I'm no longer having breakfast, right? A lot of the times, this is what I used to do. When I don't eat breakfast, right? And then I managed to get to lunch. And I'm like, yay, I've done it. Yes, it's time to eat. This is what happens. I end up finding myself overeating, all right? And um, so overeat lunchtime, overeat dinner time. If you're doing this, you're gonna struggle. You have to make sure you're still eating the right amount of food when it's your eating window. Because the main reason uh, how intermittent fasting help you is that because you're skipping the breakfast or the dinner, those calories that you would have had at that time, it means that you're no longer having those calories. Do you get me? You're still going to be eating your normal lunch, your normal dinner. So basically you're saving calories. Make sure your food is still very nutritious. And thank God, most of the food we eat, most of the food that are healthy and nutritious have lesser calories anyway. So when it gets to your meal time, you have to try your best not to overeat. So this is just an information that I found uh, for you in case you're wondering how much calories you think you may need. everybody is different guys okay if you're not losing weight and you're eating a particular amount of food right you're gonna have to think up to yourself okay what else can i cut out do you understand me what else can i cut out if you find yourself still fat you're not losing any weight and you're still uh you're doing your intermittent fasting eating two meals a day and stuff like that and so you maybe you need to cut down on a little bit more of the calorie all right because calorie is what determines how much weight we lose or how much weight we gain depending on how much of it we eat 